For more than a century, the Boy Scouts of America, or BSA, has prided itself on its values, preparing American youth to make ethical and moral decisions. However, behind the facade of moral fortitude, the organization has worked diligently to systematically cover up thousands of reports of child sexual abuse perpetrated by BSA volunteers, scout leaders, and scout masters. In the 1920s, BSA leadership was made aware that adult scout masters were sexually molesting Boy Scouts. The BSA quickly implemented a policy to conceal this danger from parents, the public, and the police. Part of this policy included the initiation of an internal filing system requiring local scout troops to send all information regarding the sexual abuse of children to the Boy Scouts of America headquarters in Irving, Texas. This information, formerly known as the Ineligible Volunteer Files and internally referred to as the Perversion Files, included the names of alleged abusers, their occupations, their troop number, the nature of the sexual abuse, and the location of the abuse. BSA leadership rarely provided this information to law enforcement, preferring to handle reports of sexual abuse themselves. To this day, the BSA has not voluntarily informed the public or their members about this legacy of hidden danger to children. In 2019, a child sex abuse expert from the University of Virginia, Dr. Janet Warren, testified that she was contracted by the Boy Scouts of America to review all of the perversion files that they had compiled from 1944 through 2016. Dr. Warren testified that her review of the files identified nearly 8,000 perpetrators believed to have sexually abused children. Through litigation across the country, courts have ordered the public release of some of these Boy Scout perversion files. The following names of accused perpetrators with documented perversion files were made public as a result of these disclosures. On February 18, 2020, due to the growing number of sexual abuse claims, the Boy Scouts of America filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. It is believed that the Boy Scouts of America are using Chapter 11 bankruptcy as a legal tactic to keep perpetrators' names and the perversion files secret from the public. The Boy Scouts of America filing for Chapter 11 bankruptcy does not mean survivors of sexual abuse do not have legal rights. Survivors of scout abuse can still come forward and take legal action to expose the perpetrators and those who covered it up. By doing so, survivors can help shine a light on a danger that has been hidden for decades and make the world a safer place for children today. If you or anyone you know is a survivor of sexual abuse while participating in the Boy Scouts of America at any time, contact us confidentially today. You're not alone.